Hey everyone, welcome to a new video of Git Good at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. In this video, I will show you a simple trick that will really help you uh, make cool looking houses. So, you've probably seen these, uh, these doors and these uh, portcullis uh, doors. Um, and as you probably know, you can use them with car rides or with a ghost train, and they will open when the, when the car train goes through it but you can actually also keep them in an open state and then actually use them as scenery in other places in your park so to demonstrate that uh, I will just uh, quickly show you how to do this for the door and for the portcullis door and then show you how to use them on this uh, to finish this little building that I put here so first we'll start with the door so what we'll want to do is we'll want to delete the ride at the moment uh, a car passes through it and the door is in the open state. And as you can see now the door will actually stay open. And the same goes for the portcullis doors. There we go, now this one also stays in the open state. So yeah, just uh, delete the ride uh, at the moment a uh, car passes through the door and it will stay open. Now, um, we cannot just copy uh, this piece like we normally would, because if we do it, uh, as you can see, they will just stay closed. So, in order to use this in our buildings, we need to use uh, our friend, the Tile Inspector. We can simply hold control and select the piece, go doorway, and now when we copy it and we paste it, we paste another open door. You can paste it here for example and now the guests will pass through this open door now in order to uh, use this on this uh, little building that we made we can just paste the piece here now we'll have to rotate it manually and we'll just move it upwards like that same goes for the colors door just, uh, I'm not sure if I copied it, and just copy it and paste it here. You rotate it, and there we go. Now I have uh, windows for a little building. Um, another cool trick that you can uh, do with this is uh, I'll just copy again this portcullis door, but now I'll paste it on this side. So not on this tile, but I'll paste it on this tile. It's important, I'll show you why. Now we'll just rotate it. And now we can place something behind it. Like this wall from the creepy set, for example. And this actually works great to make uh, nice looking windows for your little building. Let's quickly put something above the window now, so close that little gap. There you go. Let's just uh, copy this to the entire building, well the entire front of the building. So we'll just hold control, select this window, copy it, paste it to the pieces next to it. Let's close this little gap by putting something above it. And again, we'll add one of these walls behind it. There you go, that actually looks uh, really nice as a window. Also, probably in this case, you'll want to uh, not have yellow portcullis doors. I think brown would look nice here. Oops, like this. And there you have it. This is how you uh, make open doors and open portcullis doors and use them on your buildings. This should really help you uh, make nicer windows on your, uh, on your buildings. You can even put uh, decorations in front of it, like uh, yeah, how about a wooden, wooden fence. that or 
we can make it brown. But yeah, I uh, encourage you to experiment with this and uh, try to find something that, uh, that you think looks nice. Alright, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial and I uh, hope to see you again in the next video. See you later. Thank you.